<clears throat> can we do it? Can we do it? Whew. Let me know in the comments right now. Do you believe in chicken? Do you think we're going to win or we're, we're going to lose? Let's see. I think we've got... Hey guys, the chicken is here. We're back today with another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, the log says it all. Boom, we were, we were able to make some huge progress today. We got up all the way from the bottom of rank 16 to close to 19. So we were able to get a, uh, a rank chest, which is going to help us uh, on the tech tree. But what I want to go over everything is we'll go over uh, five ERs, um, the attack strategy, the base layout, uh, tech tree stuff, uh, stuff if you're back at four engines or even lower. What's funny today was I posted this on my Instagram at the chicken 24. Um, <clears throat> as soon as I went to five, I matched up with two two engine bases. How crazy is that? And I beat them, you know, by like two minutes. It was it was nuts. Um, they weren't even able to finish the base. It was just very strange how that matchmaking works sometimes. It just blows my mind, you know, because when I was at four, um, I didn't face many fives, but it, it was a lot of, it was either a max three or four. Like it wasn't really that all, you know, crazy over the place, but as soon as I went to five, then we started facing two engine guys, which was kind of strange, but you know, I guess they could have been sitting on a pile of keys technically. So maybe the tech was similar and they just hadn't spent it yet. Um, so that's possible, but either way, so we're going to cover all that stuff today, guys. Uh, I do appreciate if you use the code chicken in the shop, if you find the videos helpful and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'd love to hit 30,000 before the end of season 30 in warships. I think that would be cool and be fitting. So if you watch the videos regularly, appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button for me. So here's the base layout. <clears throat> it's nothing too, too crazy. Um, I tried one layout before this one and it didn't work. Uh, even at five ERs with the tech advantage, the other bases just were not as good as this one. This one's going to slow down warriors. It's going to slow down heavy cryo, which is basically, you know, the only thing that we're seeing. Um... Let's look at the tech tree next, and then we'll talk about the attack uh, attack strategy we're using. So, still haven't gone back yet, and uh, I haven't really done anything other than go to five. Um, I haven't upgraded anything else. You can see we're sitting on a mountain of upgrade tokens. Um, and I'm at a crossroads, because I don't know if I'm going to save for the sky shield, which would go here. It would go right pretty well with that cannon, and then we move this boom cannon um, up on that corner. Um, or if I want to go back and start to backfill my defenses, so... Uh, let me know in the comments what you think uh, would be the better option or what you guys plan on doing. Um, but yeah, if we can get, you know, shock launchers, that would be nice. A um, lot of things we can add here that are going to uh, be helpful for sure. But um, yeah, I have been able to use warriors on a couple five engine bases. Uh, we'll move over to attack strategy now. Um, basically, they work awesome if there's not, if, if they don't have mines. If they don't have mines, you can run warriors and just crush them. Um, if not, it's just safer to use heavies and, uh, heavies and cryos. So a couple fizzles there. Um, <clears throat> a lot of these were close, but look, look at these, look at these attacks guys. Like most of these guys are simply not finishing our base. Um, so yeah, let's get into some live hits now. And that's what we're using. We're using three, five heavies and cryos or, um, either that or warriors. But for the most part, it's like this. So this is a typical five engine base that we'll see. And I'll show you exactly how we're doing it. So we'll go one, two, one, two, three. Uh, we can even throw the good doctor down right now. It doesn't matter. Um, and we just let them free clear up here. And then we just try to flare them over to the middle. And then um, I thought I threw my flare out there for a sec. And then we'll throw the uh, the last three bolts down there and let them just free clear that engine. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I think I'll actually let them take out that sniper just because that's going to be that's going to be a pain for us to deal with. Now let's flare them up over here. Now, we will lose some bombers. Basically, the way I do it is uh, I don't use second wind um, until I've lost a pretty good handful of bombers. And I don't go crazy if, um, you know, if we haven't... Um, let me throw these out now. I don't go crazy with the second winds if we haven't lost a ton of bombers just yet. Like right now, you know, I'll get some back, but I'll wait a second until I'm sure that we're going to get nothing but bombardiers. And I'll also let them clear those mines first. So the ones that I bring back don't walk over uh, any mines because we don't need that. Um, either so I think we're good now to start throwing some out He's got a lot of heavies over there and then as we come around this corner and then it's all about the uh, it's all about the flare But I find with the cryo bombers, it, you know at five engines you want to be careful because let's shot that 
Um, you want to be careful because they don't do a ton of damage. So, you know, typically when you're using bombers, we know how long... Look at that, the opponent retreated again. Typically when we're using bombers, we know how uh, how quick they are to take down the base. Or to take down the engine room, at least. With crowd bombers, they take a long time. So, you know, you've got to rethink your decisions there. Um, this boom can can be an absolute nightmare. Like, look, it just took out almost half of my uh, attack squad. It pulls them from weird angles. Um, I found this season is just all about, you know, strange angles and wall riding and, uh, you know, trying to find the right space over the gaps. And, uh, yeah, that's why second win has been such a huge crush, uh, crutch because it's basically like every attack is kind of like that where you know you're going to lose most of your bombers and it's just when you strategically want to bring them back. Um, that's what seems to matter the most. So, obviously, if this guy finished the base... Uh, we probably would have lost, but um, we're able to to hold on here. So <clears throat> we'll do another one. That was weird. It looked like the engine. Am I crazy? Or did the engine room health just skip up a little bit while I was being attacked? Maybe I'm crazy, but we'll do another one. If we win the next one, then we'll uh, we'll keep going, and maybe it'll be a bit longer of a video. Actually, we'll probably have plenty of time here. Maybe we'll hit 19. Maybe we'll hit 19. It all comes down to this attack. It all comes down to this one now. <clears throat> I pretty well streaked up until this point, and then it was kind of like win-loss, win-loss. So I felt like it'd be a good time to make a video, because I, I felt like we kind of hit the cap of where we were. Alright, so same thing. One, two. One, two, three. Let's flare onto that cannon. Um, <clears throat> we can throw Kavan out now. Now, I like to throw Kavan out early. The problem is, uh, you know, typically I don't always throw Kavan out early, because he can run up and get hit by a cannon, or, you know, he typically likes to do stupid things. But... If you wait, then you risk having um, Kavan run off to the left. And if Kavan goes off to the left, then the whole attack is done. Um, because he's going to resurrect your troops on the wrong side, and we do not want that. Okay, so we gotta we got to be careful here. Let's shock there. Actually, that bomber is going to die for sure. Ooh, this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. Let's try to bring some of these guys back. Shock there. Okay, those riflemen will be lovely. That was the perfect spot to get a, bu a bunch of riflemen. Because it's only single target stuff. And, uh... Come on, bombers. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, there we go. Kavan is healthy, I think. We're about to get another second wind as we move over this side. So this is looking a little bit better. Looking a little bit better. Okay. Take down this engine. And yes, obviously we want to be flaring at some point, but like I said, if, if it puts your troops in danger, then it's not really worth it because it takes them so long to um, to take down the engine room. Like, if I was to flare right now, I would risk losing all my bombers to that little four-pack of mines, um, especially with this wall coming up here. So let's actually shock there and just let them do their thing. I'm going to let them take out that boom cannon and some of this stuff. Now we can go. Now it's going to be a little bit safer. Um, we have another second wind to bring out and Yeah, because I mean if we just have this group of heavies and level one riflemen We're not gonna do anything for damage and it's actually gonna take us longer to uh, To take down the base rather than waiting. So let's see what we got here Two six You know in terms of time <clears throat> It's hard to say because it's really all over the place But if you're finishing the base and you're not really skipping a beat then you should be fine Like if you're not majorly screwing up like I did on the last attack um, Yeah, I would say above two minutes from what I've seen so far anyways, um, is pretty standard, so, let's go, we got a boss fight, we got a boss fight, no, <laughs> the game, why does the game always crash like that, um, okay, let's get back in, don't crash me while we're playing, for the love of god, um, okay, here we go, alright, 74 at 80, <clears throat> can we do it, can we do it, Whew. let me know in the comments right now, do you believe in chicken, do you think we're gonna win or we're, or we're gonna lose, let's see, I think we've got it. I think we've got it, honestly. Unless we face, like, a five-engine base, which would make sense for a boss fight that's, like, pretty maxed out. Um, I would be surprised. All right, this is the exact same base we just fought, so let's do the same thing. One, two. One, two, three. I always count it out, uh, out loud like that. Um, just because I find, like, it helps me. Um, okay, so let's put Kavan out, like we said. Kavan out early. And I'm hoping that none of the crowds are going to swing to the left. Um, if they do, it looks like one of them's going to, but I think for the most part they're going to stay. So let's throw these guys down now. And yeah, we got Kavan over there. 
Now I needed some, yeah, if they all go down to the bottom, that's a problem because it's hard to, um, when you come around the middle here, this is what I'm seeing is like the most important part of the attack. Um, okay, let's do another second wind. And I'm going to shock here. There we go. We got the rifleman coming in. Yeah, it's just all about this stupid middle part. Okay, we're going to shock here again. I need to upgrade my shocks is what I need to do. I haven't spent those tokens on anything. That wouldn't be a bad place to put them. Okay, come on, guys. We need another second wind. We need it yesterday. This guy looks like he's taking us down on a pretty good clip, too, so I would not be surprised if we lose this. Typically, the ones that we've... Um, that we've won so far that it's been like kind of a landslide. I don't know what happened to this bomber. I think maybe he, he walked up and started targeting that boom cannon and died. Um, thankfully, we got the uh, we got the second squad coming in here. They'll make quick work of that engine. Um, and should also distract that boom cannon, which will be great. But I think... I think we got to go for it. I think we got to flare. Just got to be so careful about those four bombers left if they're going to clip those mines or not. Which I feel like they're going to, so I'm a little bit scared to flare them. Um, so let's flare them up this way. I don't know if this is the right call. I don't know. Okay, flare them down here. It's going to be tight. It's going to be tight. Come on. He retreated. It wasn't, was it a fake retreat? Yes. Yes, we got him. Boom, there it is. Oh, man. Wow. Wow, what a video. What a video. That was awesome. We got to 19, fellas. Right there. Right there it is. Alright, so let's take that chest. And with that, what can we do? Now, we've guaranteed ourselves a sky shield for our next chest. Or, we can go back and we can get mortars and... Um, well, that's probably it for today. But we can get mortars or something else. But... Uh, Nice when things work out. Nice when things work out. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. That was a banger. As always, thank you so much for watching. And, um, yeah, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Catch you next one, guys. Chicken out. Back, back.